Well, of course, uh, see, any technology which can uh, automate at scale and be able to learn as it uh, you know, keeps interacting will always be something that will solve people's problems. And I think AI definitely has a role in that. Having said that, what I would say is that it's an emerging technology. So don't uh, imagine that AI is uh, that magic bullet which will take away all your problems. What I feel is that brands need to start uh, building their AI solutions. They need to start checking the logs of where the AI fails and how it can retrain the AI uh, engines and the bots and uh, see at what point the bot becomes less efficient than a human taking over. I always believe that 80% of the questions, 80% of the queries can be answered very efficiently by the bot because the queries are relatively straightforward and simple. But if you look at a sales process or a consumer's journey through a purchase process, towards the end the questions become very very specific and individualistic. At that point in time it may not always be possible for a bot to gauge so many forms of variations in the tone and tenor of the question to be able to give the right answer. And I think in today's world, that's what I recommend to all our clients, is that you open with a bot, clearly stating that it is a bot, and at any point in time, give the customer the option of falling over to a human. That way you can uh, bring in the efficiencies from a typical bot platform or an AI platform, but at the same time not suffering from an absolutely 100% bot solution where a customer might actually feel that he's not been serviced well. See, uh, some of the trends we keep talking about is AI machine learning, which will continue to be the case. Uh, I think you still need to bet on that. Uh, but a few ones uh, that I would like to highlight first is something which is my personal favorite, which is WhatsApp for Business API. I think that's something that uh, brands are extremely excited about in terms of the number of use cases that it opens up. WhatsApp is clearly one of the largest platforms in the world, and it's on the first screen of every mobile phone and probably the most time spent on any app by any user worldwide. So that has tremendous potential uh, for brands and I think that's something that will uh, play out over the next one year as the Wawa accounts are made uh, available to more and more brands. But one of the things that I always believe has been extremely under leveraged while a lot of talk happens about personalization and data I think it's an extremely under leveraged uh, area. Brands uh, still have data in silos, there are CRM teams uh, which have some part of the data, marketing teams another part of the data. Uh, the whole data management platform and DMPs have not really taken off. While we do a lot of talk about that, I think that's an area where there is a lot of potential and personally I am very excited about using data, especially first party and third party data to enrich personalized campaigns and communications and I think that's really the future. I want to, uh, as a consumer, hear about campaigns uh, which talk to me, my needs based on uh, what you know about me. There's no point in trying to uh, sell me a scooter when I have never uh, you know, um, driven a two-wheeler in my life. So uh, that's really uh, where I see people should be investing. It's not important in my head to uh, you know bet your horses uh, on 10 different technologies. There are a few that are relevant for your business. You must work very hard to make a success out of that. Flirting with 10 different trends and making a success out of none of them is not really the best way to go in, in my opinion.